Yo guys, what is up? Crafter here and today's sniping tutorial, but not usual sniping tutorial. I'm not gonna go over things that everyone already made videos about. I'm gonna show you tricks that actually will help you to become a better sniper. Just before we start though, this tutorial will have more than one part, so if you want to keep up with new uploads, remember to hit that subscribe button to get notified about them. I simply don't want to make this video half an hour long since you wouldn't even remember the tricks that I mentioned at the beginning after finishing watching the video, so that doesn't make any sense. If you want to know what the best snipers are currently after patches that's been released, I've made a separate video about it, so make sure to watch it after you finish this one. You can do so by clicking the E icon in the right upper corner, it also works on mobile. Ok, so now that you know all this, we can start with actual tips that will make you a better sniper. So the first basic mistake that almost everyone makes on the battlefield is looking for the targets through the scope. You don't want to do that, just forget about it. You see the target, without scoping in, you scope in, take the shot and unscope. And why is that? First, if you scope in, your vision is so tunneled, you don't see everything around you. That's first. And second, you can't strafe and move at least not that much as you could without scoping in, so that you're making yourself such an easy target for enemy sniper. And this brings us to rule number two. You never ever lay down as a sniper. No matter how comfortable the situation looks, you never do that. You will be picked off by the enemy snipers in a matter of seconds and let me tell you, laying target is the easiest target that you can possibly pick out of all. Even if they don't get the first shot headshot on you, they will have enough time to make two body shots before you get up and back off. And this brings us to the next thing. Don't use bipods on snipers. They, they just don't work. Learn to hold shift when you have to take a shot and that's all. Like, if you deploy a bipod, you're immediately making yourself a stationary target and, as I've already mentioned, it's the first target that every semi-experienced sniper will pick first. Rule number three, keep repositioning all the time, no matter what. Because once you kill the enemy sniper, he will come back and try to get you. Even though he may not be that good, he will have the advantage because he will know where exactly you will be standing. Rule number four, don't stand on the spots that everyone expects you to stand, like there are some spots that the snipers are on every single round. For example, the hills on the Monte Grappa operations. Like, you know that on the first stage, everyone from the defending team who chose sniper as their class will be standing there and this makes them such an easy target to kill. Or even the big rocks on Sinai, like, this is the perfect example of the place where every round there is some sniper. No matter what game mode you play, there's always someone laying down with the bipod or the sniper variant of the weapon and is just waiting to get some kills. Remember guys, be creative, put yourselves in the places that no one expects you to be at this moment. Trust me, situational awareness of battlefield players is so low that they will not notice you somewhere they don't expect you to be. And the last thing for this part of the tutorial is to prioritize your targets. If you're at the distance, you go for the snipers and medics first. And if you're up close, you go for the assaults and support players first. No matter what, because at range obviously support and assault players can't really do anything to you. Like even if they have bipods on their LMGs, they're not gonna kill you as fast as the medic or a sniper. And up close, obviously, you will always have this chance that sniper will hit the quick scope on you. But once again, battlefield players are pretty terrible, at least in sniping, so they don't usually hit those quick scopes. And the assault player will just destroy you with his automatica, for example. And this is it for this part of the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you did, Remember to leave a like, subscribe to get notified about next parts of the tutorial and as always, see you on the battlefield.